You're lucky enough to sit in on some letters that we got. Yep. From all sorts of people that write us stories. And we're going to start with one about a fella who was none too pleased with our Batman v Superman call in Dawn of Justice episode. Which was but his right. first. Off come the pants. <laughs> <laughs> This is kind of, we hate movies after dark, all right? That's the way that these mailbags always get. So, Steve, get into this one. This is, uh, let's just say it's a lengthy email. All right, yeah, take we, your pants off. We did do <laughs> a uh, Batman v Superman episode. You know, we got a lot of crap. We got a lot of good stuff, a lot of gr- nice comments. We got a lot of crap because we did it. We were a bit raw. We'd just seen the movie. Yeah, and you, just- were, you were wearing a leather jumpsuit. <laughs> And saying really <laughs> offensive things by today's standards. Yeah. <laughs> Track two on Steve's album of us being raw about Batman is something you can't say and no. shouldn't. Uh, so, but we, this is this kind of encapsulates a lot of people's negative feelings about our Batman v Superman episode. <clears throat> They're called parademons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge. Is that fan. the subject or the first? Sentence? That's, oh, that's the subject. And the first sentence? Uh, no, uh, the, the, the first sentence will be now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> read a damn comic. You guys don't know a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it already. I'm a huge fan of the podcast, but I haven't been able to listen to you uh, because of your BVS bullshit. Sorry for so. the language. Podcast that curses all the time. <laughs> well, don't, well, don't use it then. <laughs> yeah. yeah so you could hit the lead. You could go back in an well, email, you know. He wants to let you know he's. Uh, he's pa- steaming he's a, mad. Yeah, he's a yeah. passionate man. Sometimes you have to use that kind of language to get your point across. I tried angry. to sit through it and listen to why you hated it, but I can't believe you guys are true DC fans. I, let, so let's stop you right there. Yeah. I care about comic books like. 47% of the time. I'm not a true fan of anything. I'm a fan of movies. I'm a movie fan who sometimes kind of loosely read comic books that I loan from people. That's it. Mm-hmm. I don't and think there's ever been like a profession of like, we're all DC heads. No, no. And I, I, I'm I, kind of in, almost in the same boat there. I, I, I like movies. Sometimes I like movies based on DC properties. Sure. I've read a <laughs> bunch of Batman comics. I like them. I didn't get to the part about interstellar demons or whatever. Well, I believe that's on the Superman side of things. Okay, well, that's not, the problem. A, not a big uh, soup guy. Justin J. Case? Well, I'm a Marvel guy through and through, but my thing is more poetry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, always bringing so up I'll Byron. Leave it to the experts. I, I, <laughs> I read Star Wars comics, buddy. I, I, uh, I'll get into me. Uh, I believe this movie is made for the true fans. Uh, it did have elements of the BVS comic storyline, along with it being a secret Death of Superman movie. By the way, there is no BVS comic storyline, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> This movie is made of nonsense, and it uses some tent poles that DC has used over the years, me being a DC Comics fan. This movie's made of nonsense and held together by bubblegums of bullshit. So shut up. Is it? Is that... Um is that Kingdom? Is that like kind of a BVS story? Kingdom, line? Com- I mean Batman. Kingdom Superman. Come. Oh, sorry. Batman I, and Superman. Yeah. Get, you know, you get two hunks in a room. They're going to start getting down to fucking, and they get down to fight. Oh, that right. That comic book ends with them eating in a diner. <laughs> it does. It, 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 it one thousand percent does. It's kind of a Planet Hollywood. Which yeah, is they're kind of nice. a Planet Hollywood, <laughs> which I that. still wish existed. By the way. <laughs> Oh, right. It's like a Superman-themed thing, is it yeah, not? Yeah, 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 okay. I remember that now. Uh, it was never meant to be a Batman movie, and that's why it works well, because it shows the hatred Batman has for Superman ever since the beginning. That is a period, but it should have a question mark. I'm cutting out a lot of this. I know you <laughs> won't read this on the air. <laughs> But as Think a, again. But as a through-and-through Batman fan, this was the ultimate Batman personification. The best Alfred interpretation. Uh, subject, subjectivity exists, and I'm fine with it. I'm not even going to comment on that. You which, enjoyed it. Congratulations. Which, I don't know if you, you stomached the episode all the way to the part <laughs> where we talk about how we thought Batman and Alfred were the best part of the movie. Yeah, we, we, we enjoyed it. I'm... So that's that one's not a slam against us. Throughout the comics, and this is a slam. Oh, shit. Batman was called Man Other Things Other Than Ma- Batman. 
Many of the villains don't call him Batman outright. The Joker calls him Batsy if he if you're looking at the the com- the cartoons, not so much the comic books. Uh, and then later later on, it gets into the comic books, but that's fine. But the movie isn't called Bats versus Superman. It's Batman. The, the, the Joker calls him Batsy, the Bat, the Bat of Gotham. The Penguin is known for using other names. <laughs> He's just known uh, for wait, it. Hold, hold on a second. I think he went. He meant to go back and find out what those were. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, if you're a true DC fan, you do the research. You no, know? yeah, yeah, of course. You just no. Yeah. Why can't you reel this stuff off the top of your head, yeah. true believer? Exactly. What did Catwoman say? What did Egghead call the Batman? Caked crumb cake, or you know, <laughs> he always had, he always had those two the alliterations. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, the also, crummy crusader. <laughs> the child, Jeff, the child molester. What? No, no don't do that. Jeff, uh, Jeff the Bat. <laughs> man, that would be so upsetting if like Batman shows up and you start calling him Jeff for no reason. <laughs> or maybe like Penguin was thought thought some just random. He's like, I finally discovered who Batman is. It's Jeffrey Price down the street. <laughs> And it's not really, but then he just starts calling Batman Jeff. <laughs> Around the office, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, hell, it's even shown that the Joker burns down Wayne Manor, and I'm sure you missed that. I'm sure, too, because it's not in the movie. Yeah, what are you talking about? I mean, maybe like they show the Robin costume that gets jacked up in like 39 seconds or a split of a second. I don't know what happened to Wayne Manor. It's not really established. You're Sorry. See, that's the thing is like, listen, you can love DC Comics as much as you want. And I and do. all those stories involving demons and, and uh, burning They're manners. They're called parademons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but. Well, so that's like paranormal demons. So ghosts of demons, but demons. No, no pa- paradoom demons, meaning that they can fly, meaning basically oh. pa- like a paratrooper. Oh, right. They're like bugs from outer space. I always right? felt like para parallel. Again, I am more into poetry, but <laughs> parademon. They're from para. They, they come from a different dimension, don't mm-hmm. they? From right. a parallel. Yeah, I, was, so they, they I always thought it was from parallel, but no, it's, 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 it's apocalypse. Yeah, why can't we just say gleep club? That's a real you know catch all. But what I was trying to get at is the the word world of the movie that is being established needs to explain those yeah. ways for a, in a, for a general audience. Like yes. I, as an average moviegoer, should be able to understand what I watch, not say, hey, was that a random time traveler coming through some portal to talk to Bruce Wayne? Mm-hmm. What the fuck is happening? Yep, yep. It just happens and it's not explained. Yeah, you don't make a whole movie for the fans. No. Also, yes. when things are referred to as this one was for the fans, that's generally implying that it's shitty and only fans would like it because it's shitty and general audiences don't like it. And encores. <laughs> <laughs> also encores. Also, there were comics in which Batman did kill people with guns. I'm too lazy to use Google to look up the issues. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Name hey, man. that comic. Yeah, I mean, dude. <laughs> Beat like, the geeks. I, I'm sure it is. Ha- it does happen, but that's not the traditional storytelling I, of Batman. I would, be, I, I would love to see what his answer is on that because one of the things I don't. No, that's not it. No, it's, not a, what it's not. I mean, Elseworlds, sure. Elseworlds, maybe a flat, sh- oh, yeah. Sure. You want to do some Elseworlds stuff? You I don't even know what the hell you two are talking Flash about. Flashpoint? Oh, yeah, he's shooting that's everybody. That's like, uh, like, what if? Like, what if Batman killed a lot of people with guns? Oh, And it's that's... not like canon to the regular yes, story. Yeah, exactly. it's like, what if, what's the other one? What if uh... Spider Man was black? That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it? Did that's that the what if game that Marvel <laughs> likes playing. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, um, uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm too lazy to look up the issues. I'm sure, I'm not sure you guys ever read The Death of Superman. I did. But this is in the interpretation of that summer event of 1992. Actually, it's not because Doomsday's in 20 minutes of the movie and doesn't wear a cool space <laughs> outfit and doesn't fight the fucking Justice League one by one by one. And yeah, it's not what that is. Steve's turning as red as this t shirt. Oh, man. Uh, uh, and then, uh, I, I wanted to state that because you kept calling it 9-11, which is highly offensive. <laughs> we live in New York City! And that first scene has 9-11 imagery up and down and up and down. Yeah, if you don't think that this movie and dozens of other of these comic book blockbusters are aping people's memories of watching towers fall down, 
That's what these things are. It's 9-11 porn, and that's what we mean by 75 9-11s, because it's a comedy show. The joke is the destruction is like as if 75 9-11s happened. That actually gives me a very clear concept of what's, like, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. it's, it's over the top, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying. yeah. It's excessive, <laughs> like this email's length. <laughs> the camera guy you missed was Jimmy Olsen, who got shot in Africa. Spoiler oh, alert, yeah. Justin. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. I know somehow. I know everything about. Well, but I know more about what happened to Jimmy Olsen in this movie would, than anything else. But you wouldn't know it's Jimmy Olsen if you watched the movie. None of us did. <laughs> Professor DC over here that wrote this email likes to think that he pointed that out right away. That's the, that's how you're writing that sentence, and that's impossible because nobody knew that watching it was the movie in the end credits. Which I'm sorry, we left. It's yeah. also. <laughs> Also, if I had to make a uh, 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 if I if I had to make a case in front of the Supreme Court why Zack Snyder hates DC and hates Superman specifically, it's it's my my number one piece of evidence would be shooting uh, a nameless Jimmy Olsen in Africa in thirteen seconds for no reason and calling that a fun Easter egg. <laughs> you fucking jerks. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, you are. Uh... Yeah, you're getting raw here, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm wearing the leather suit and everything. Whatever, going on a long time. Uh, uh, you missed that this is the new god, Superman. You missed, fuck, you fucking missed Darkseid's <laughs> presence. I didn't miss it. It's not in the movie, man. <laughs> also, what happened to curbing the language? <laughs> oh, well, now. Yeah. I, I, bet he's, I bet he's had a couple This now. is why the fuck you <laughs> hate the movie. You complain about the parents' death scene, but when it's not force-fed to you what's going on, you complain it's a horrible movie. Spoiler alert, this does not happen, but Superman fights Darkseid. Spoiler alert, this does not happen. Wait, you don't spoil alert, me- something doesn't happen? <laughs> no, like, yes, Dark, Superman fights Darkseid. Superman fights fucking Bibbo sometimes. Superman fights Metallo. None of these things matter because it's not in the movie. <laughs> What is this guy smoking? Uh, yeah, <laughs> and where can I get some? Seriously. Uh, I think a lot of people give this movie a hard time because they were very loose. They want a very loosely based version, turn the page, uh, of a comic <laughs> that, that they never read. Uh, if you couldn't tell, I'm listening to th- this thing as, as you speak, and it's worse than watching Sucker Punch. Sure. Honestly, I feel you I'll guys want uh, to find a movie to hate <laughs> like everyone else. But this is Zack Snyder's best work. Up for debate. Um, I hate you guys for hating this movie. <laughs> I honestly love this year because this is the best comic book adaptation of a multiverse DC being brought to the camera. So basically, if you throw them all into one movie and don't explain any of it, that's the best version of the multiverse. Oh, I thought he meant like the cinematic universe oh, that maybe. they're attempting to set up. Could be, too. Uh, <laughs> I, honest- you need a decoder ring for this. <laughs> this movie is an Easter egg of treasure chest. Mm. I'm, and I'm reading this word for word. Treasure. This is a movie is an Easter egg of treasure chest for true fans. I don't it's a care. Treasure chest full of Easter eggs. Yeah, I or mean. either or or an Easter. Uh, yeah, exactly. Put the treasure chest, chest full of Easter eggs. It is. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> what I kind of. I kind of want this guy, you Andrew to be like uh, hanging out in front. Uh, you're chasing this guy down a hole with a gun, <laughs> and like he's standing in front of a waterfall, and he yells out, "Jimmy Olsen got shot in Africa," <laughs> and you go, "I don't care," <laughs> and you just try and shoot him. Oh, oh, whatever. Uh, hopefully I can forgive you guys for this sin. I sin. hope so, too. I hope sin, so. Sin. Yep. Uh, sin. You know, you don't need to write a resignation for, to a podcast. You can just kind of let it go. Yeah, you can just tune out. I don't care. It may take some time. Keep up the horrible work. <laughs> Hopefully, I can, one day I can listen to my favorite podcast again. <laughs> and I'm not kidding you. The the one the, of the next couple things I'm not making up. Signed Kenny G. <laughs> Sent from my phone. Sent from my phone. <laughs> also, the flying peeps are parademons. You make me sick calling yourselves comic book fans. You make me sick. <laughs> Dude, 
I, all right, here's the thing yeah. about the parademons thing because a lot of people said that, and a lot of people tweeted like, "Oh, by the way, those are parademons in in nice ways and in not." You nice know what? That's how to do it as an adult. By the way, it's a parademon in case you care, but you might not. Which I love parademons. I love the new gods. I love uh, the just the JLA story, uh, Rock of Ages, where Green Lantern gets turned into a parademon. I knew what a parademon was going into this movie. Well, fuck me sideways, Steve. It sounds like you read comic books, but. If the movie doesn't oh, fake it, <laughs> if the movie doesn't actually uh, 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 integrate or tell you what you're watching and shows a dude with wings, I'm not gonna just assume it's a parademon. I I, I might have missed. There might have been a dark side flag or some horseshit, but it's done poorly and I missed it. And I'm a fan, so whatever. Yeah, he was he was the one sniffing yeah. out all them Easter eggs, well, Kenny G. Me, Steve was looking. <laughs> I was looking for I'm always looking for parademons. <laughs> so, Constantly. I just want to say to Kenny, like you Kenny know, G. Excuse me. Oh yeah. Ken, <laughs> I would like to say to Kenny G. Um I was gonna I I would like to say that, you know, it's okay that you like that movie. Of course. And I understand you have passionate opinions. Uh-huh. And that's fine, too. And I honestly don't hold any ill will against you or people who like that movie. Sure. It's not for me. Yep. Come back to the fold, Kenny G. Any old time. We had a lot of fun. I don't know, Kenny. If you just want to uh, <laughs> never listen again. And Alternatively. Just pick- I, I don't care if you pick up the show. One word. I mean, look, yeah, it, it's okay to like a movie. It's okay to like that movie. I just didn't like it. And it's okay that I missed some stuff. Yeah. Also, save yourself the time and don't write long emails like that.